Number 5. John Cena vs Edge Edge was the Lex Luthor to John Cena's Superman. The feud took both superstars to new heights in their careers and all started at New Year's Revolution 2006 when Edge cashed in his Money in the Bank contract on Cena. From there, the rivalry would continue over the years and drew well for the WWE with great crowd reactions and spikes in ratings. Both men had great chemistry together and went to war every time they got in the ring. With standout matches such as their TLC match from Unforgiven 2006, Edge and Cena would face off in a triple threat match alongside the Big Show at WrestleMania 25. However, this obviously wasn't a one-on-one -on -one contest. The pair could easily headline any event and Edge even stated in his last match he would like to face John Cena with him being his favourite rival. Hopefully one day this comes true and they finally face off at WrestleMania. Number 4. Bret Hart vs Mr Perfect Bret Hart and Mr Perfect are known as two of the best all-time technical wrestlers ever and always had amazing chemistry together when inside the ring, putting on classics every time. Both men would shine every time they faced off and with legendary battles over the Intercontinental title at SummerSlam and the King of the Ring crown, these two could steal any show. Their matches are still talked about to this day, yet unfortunately the pair never had a chance to face off at WrestleMania. This was mostly due to WWE having bigger plans for Bret at the top of the card, leaving fans to wonder what classic they could have missed out on on the show of shows, whether it be a one-on-one, -on -one, a submission match or an Iron Man match. Number 3. Undertaker vs Mankind when Mick Foley debuted in the WWE, he instantly made a great rival for The Undertaker. Little did the pair know that their matches would live on forever. The pair fought through numerous wars and countless memorable moments, such as Paul Bearer turning on The Undertaker to side with Mankind, their boiler room brawl and buried alive matches, or even their classic Hell in a Cell match at King of the Ring 1998. The pair would become pivotal points to each other's careers, helping elevate not only each other but the company as well, especially during the Attitude Era. Sadly, they never got to showcase their skills together at WrestleMania, with WWE instead using The Undertaker for feuds at the top of the card. Number 2. Trish Stratus vs Lita Trish and Lita helped begin the women's revolution in WWE before it was even a thing. They went through the Attitude Era from stripping each other in bra and panties matches to main event in Monday Night Raw for the first time ever in a show-stealing performance. The pair helped elevate each other and the women's division to new heights, showing that the women of WWE could be just as good, if not better, than the men. They would face off in a triple threat match at WrestleMania 18, which included Jazz, yet unfortunately never competed one-on-one -on -one at the show of shows. Their matches are still talked about to this day, with Trish's original retirement match being against Lita as well. The duo have also recently competed together at WrestleMania 39 with Becky Lynch against Damage Control, yet as time goes on, it becomes more and more unlikely we will ever get to see these two face off again. Number 1. The Rock vs Triple H Two of the biggest stars from the Attitude Era facing off one more time on the grandest stage of them all is something all fans would love to see. The pair are fan favourites and have always had amazing chemistry together during their feuds in the Attitude Era, whether it be in the ring or on the mic. They have faced off in classics such as their Iron Man match at Judgment Day 2000 and although they did face off in a fatal 4-way match at WrestleMania 16, they still never faced off one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania. It has been teased in recent years that this match could actually come true from an in-ring segment at WrestleMania 31 to backstage segments. However, recently due to Triple H's heart condition, the game has had to retire from the ring for good, leaving this classic rivalry for the record books. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more wrestling content.